Hello, today we are going to learn about metapopulation analysis in conservation biology. The term metapopulation was coined by Ricard Levins in 1969 to describe a model of population dynamics of insect pests in agricultural field, but the idea has been more broadly applied to species in naturally or artificially fragmented habitat. In Levin's world, it consists of population of population. Here I will highlight important things. Populations of populations. A metapopulation consists of group of specially separated population of same species which interact at same level. In case of metapopulation, the chance of extinction is less and survival rate is high. From this figure, we can clearly understand about the concept of metapopulation. Here, let us consider this is island. These are the islands, these patches. Uh, this one is source island and this one is sink island. What is source island? What is sink island? Now, let me clear you all that Source is a high quality habitat that on average allows the population to increase while sink is low quality habitat. Here black dot represent individual within a local population and, and these arrows shows dispersal event that is corridor in case of this. Here if there is natural calamities in this island then after recovery of this island after few years then there will be dispersal of individual from source to sink for this one of the main important point to consider is there should be present of this corridor if there is absent of this then no dispersal can take place from source to sink so corridor is most important for dispersal event. If any patches get destroyed due to natural calamities and metapopulation extinct from deer, after recovery of that habitat, other metapopulation will disperse there through corridor. Within a metapopulation, dispersal activity plays an important role. It is the movement of population from source island to sink island if there is suitable condition if there is only suitable condition they will survive if no they will extinct from there not from all from that habitat where there is not suitable condition this local extinction is also known as extirpation extirpation that is local extinction here are some of the unique conditions that uh, conditions required for dispersal event it will be possible if there is presence of corridor corridor is one of the most important thing uh, for the dispersal if there is absence of corridor then no dispersal can take place after the dispersal, there should be recolonization of metapopulation. A recolonization is also known as rescue effect. Distance between island. One of the main thing to consider is distance between island. If island is near, there will be more dispersal. Let me clear this thing that. Let us make this patches of island which are near here this patch and this patch is near this to this is near this to this is near but dispersal from this to this is difficult so if island is near there will be more dispersal if it is mortal if the population is mortal, there will be a dispersal. Uh, here we can take example of pollination also. 
if uh, the if the pollen cannot be displaced by any of the agents like wind water then they are immobile then in this condition they can this, this they cannot displace from one island to and another and similar is the case in animal if it is slow moving still there is chance of dispersal immobile in this case dispersal will be absent uh, your fifth one is arrangement of island uh, here is archipelago and linear archipelago mean island that are arranged in cluster and linear mean in straight line let me show you archipelago archipelago is in cluster like this I have example 2 and linear in straight line like this in archipelago there will be less chance of dispersal but in linear arrangement there is sorry in archipelago there will be more chance of dispersal but in linear arrangement there is less chance of dispersal of population here is example of archipelago here population can disperse from here to here to here here to here respectively and from here to here here to here here to here but in linear it's a little bit difficult if population has to be dispersed from here to here it would be difficult if these if these are degraded then there will be no population then if population have to disperse from here to here then it is difficult now finally some of the examples of uh, meta population are butterfly population of butterflies coral reef of fishes as well as we can take an example as human being because um, extinction of human being is difficult and rare Thank you.